Number four then from the 2015 Advanced Higher Maths. Here we go. Just like the higher, look. Deja vu. Find the equation of the tangent to this curve at that point. The only difference is it's a wee bitty jumbled up and it can't be separated. What you've got is an implicit equation, but you can still differentiate it term by term. Differentiating, differentiating with respect to x would be 4x cubed, but this one, that's a function of a function, so it'll be 4 times whatever the function of x is, the power of 3, multiplied by the derivative of that function with respect to x, plus that's just a 9 minus, same again here, 6 times the derivative of that with respect to x, and that equals 0. Now there's no need to tidy up because I'm going to work it out. So if I put 1 for x and 2 for y, I'll just put a wee note at the side. x equals 1, y equals 2 to explain why it's all going to turn into numbers. So that's 4 times 1 would just be 4. y cubed, 2 cubed is 8, so that's 32, and that's lots of dy by dx, plus a 9, minus a 6, dy by dx equals 0. Now just tidy up. 32 take away 6 means you've got 26 lots of dy by dx. And the 4 and the 9 makes a 13 to carry over as a negative 13. So finally, dy by dx is negative a half, and of course, that's your gradient. Now, just like the higher, you've got the gradient, you've got a point on it. So it'll be y minus the y coordinate is the gradient times x minus the x coordinate. Take that over, because otherwise they're fractions. 2y minus 4 is negative x plus 1. Bring the x over. x plus 2y. I think I'll take that over there to make it in this form. There we go.